Hello everyone, Janine here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a pin cushion that I created. I love doing pin cushions and anything sewing related, as you all know. So this is my pin cushion. I use this ladle, as you can see. That's the base of the soup ladle. I painted it and then I, I had a, a piece of old doily at the bottom but I didn't like it. It used to first stand on my craft table but now it hangs and it's um, I use it as decor until I give it away and then I pulled off the doily and it left that marks and I, that kind of look and I like it because it looks very vintagey. So what I've done is I, I used a dress form painted it sort of very oldie that's ink and I painted it blue and um, <clears throat> I glued down the, the dress form to the to the back part of the of the ladle but before I did that I first used this paper toll the paper as a base I also made um, a toll a, a pleated skirt for the dress form as you can see with the with the tool the paper as well and so basically what I did was <clears throat> I used uh, this but this paper as my base glued it against the um, the long this arm I'll call it the arm of the spoon of the ladle glued it down then had the dress form going down and then added the pleated skirt glued it all down very securely the top part of the dress form is this heart shaped doily and so basically I just cut it open at the bottom dressed <laughs> dressed the dress form with it and then you know collect, gathered it all so that it looked neat at the back and in front used these two pieces of lace from my stash to create you know the that kind of look to the the dress and then lots of little pieces of fabric you can see i have different strips of fabric some lace and just gathered down there to add more definition to the paper pleats sorry that way and this piece um, I just draped over the shoulder it's a vintage uh, piece of lace and it's lovely and I'll just secure it there draped it over the shoulder I have two pearls over there Put some pearls that side on the for the neckline only that side is showing it's a little wild look across uh, do that over there and I also added these little rolled roses three of them and used these uh, these are old and I think I only have about four left they are gorgeous it's a strip of lace and I cut out these sort of medallion ones and use it on my projects so there you go so that's um well, this is a daiso pin cushion i just put some lace around at the bottom another piece of lace over there um, at the back i put lace down the sides across and up here and also um lace down at the back you know just to finish it off and very sturdy and um, tied a, a ribbon around the top so that I can hang it on a hook in my space and yeah so you know I um, you know it's very convenient to have something like this for not only for the storage of, of stick pins but also just around because I use sewing a lot in my projects 
which is for beadwork or buttons and stuff like that so um and i always have lots of stick pins laying around and i especially love making blue ones because it's my favorite color and um yeah so um hope you like it it's not an, an original idea i think many people use soup ladles to make pin cushions i just love that it's blue you know that it all came together so nicely so yeah that's my pin cushion and then i'd also created a altered a carton i initially started with this a carton in easter during easter but i never finished it and then i by the time i completed it towards the end of last year i'd already had these images that was gifted to me um and i will post the link um i found out that these images are um products the a lady makes this makes these um cute furry toys so i will post a link to her uh, web uh, blog or website and um so what i did was i let me start at the bottom i painted the carton and then after I painted it, I dabbed it with, I used a sponge and I dabbed, um, actually I put a cheesecloth over it and then with a sponge and gesso, I just dabbed and the cheesecloth kind of got stuck in the whole um, look of it, as you can see. And inside as well, I put a lot of gesso and I, in, you know, pushed in the cheesecloth that way, as you can see. So... It came out quite mixed in media looking. Very nice. Look at that over there. And I put a piece of cotton trim around it. And then this um oh what okay the trim. Okay, the trim on the around the edge. And then I have another small trim in there. And on this part of the egg carton, I put some lace and some, and then this uh, as well. This is part of a lace trim I have, and I covered the box with this lace fabric, and the top, and also some of it there, and um, gathered the blue trim around. This is a frame underneath. Gathered the blue trim around put on glue down this blue checkered fabric and then just position some pieces of cotton um uh, lace fabric that I had and in front I put a piece of bling a glue down bling which got this nice tangles and this gorgeous piece of lace at the bottom is what I had left over from an ulala kit and I'd used this lace to make my um bird nest chandelier added the pom-pom trim and these four these um on the four corners this gorgeous little rose trim rose trim very very soft and delicate and yeah i think that's about it for the cover and then inside i put i put some well, use the same method inside you know with the gesso and the paint and the cheesecloth and then i glue down fabric blue fabric and then I had a doily and in the doily I actually this doily came with the beads and it's like that I can't remember where I got it from so I put the doily down and then I put another of those another image the Easter kind of uh, related image it's a rabbit put some of the pom pom trim around to shape the like a frame and did, let me just take out these eggs quickly did the same inside here 
you know. On a year I used a darker trim as well, pieces of a darker lace and then just put it around inside of the egg carton. These little fluff pieces, you know, just put them in wherever I wanted to put them. And then I have these eggs. These are Easter eggs as well. And I they were different colours and so I also gessoed them. That background of the Easter egg it is like white with some kind of rough texture but I just it over it as well and um, as you can see again I took the fabric tied it around I printed the words spring has sprung there we go and I punched a hole and each one you know I just tied it and so you know it fits quite nicely into the into the box and um, looks a nice look to it it's shabby looking and then you know just for effect I added some leaf and this flower here and this is the lace I used this is the trim I have I have used in front over here so yeah that's my Easter let's do this properly spring has sprung so I love how it turned out you know it's just um, so uh, what's the word mixed media vintage shabby -ish look you know and I love how it looked and that image is gorgeous also got that image from the same lady that gave me the two bunnies in front and again here's the front gorgeous image that and um, it's a side the blue pom pom trim. Love blue. It's my favorite color. I think I've said that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my carton. And I have one more. And this one is a heart. Now, it's a little bit different. But I love how it turned out. So, I made this heart myself. Traced the shape, obviously used grey felt, stuffed it and covered the back and the front with this rose lace fabric and then you know in front as well so I created a pocket with the felt as well and so positioned these I think this this one and that great trim over there and that are all from Miss Garden Grove. Um, so I put that lace in position, that lace in the corner over there, really pretty lace, and one big flower there, and one big flower there as well. I used bits of that lace on this trim for that silvery effect, and then I just took a piece of this fabric I had, just gathered it in the middle and created a like a bow of sorts and then I it there I have a, a grey lace and then this one as well so they the two of them seal off the pocket nicely there's the dangle over there and I have some of this as well this blue trim here yeah? or blue uh, pearl trim and then I have this image this image is a napkin I put a just there I didn't do anything else to her. I just um, put some pieces of you know I wonder if that's meant to hang like that mm. 
and um, you know just put the piece of lace trim over there and add some blue little bling pieces this is also fabric from his garden grow you can see there at the bottom right very pretty grey fabric and then I took a grey glove I love using gloves in projects so I put this flower at the bottom lace flower put the glove down gathered it in the middle and as you can see I used some kind of blue cord over there tied it around and put this big piece of bling in the middle there was a different kind of bling there and I removed it and put this blue piece in there as you can see I have this pole trim doing all kinds of little zig shapes around here and then I have this tassel trim this tassel trim was off a scarf and I think it was in one of the sale bins I bought it just for that tassel and um, and I have another piece of ribbon same as the one with the pin cushion and there's nothing inside and um, maybe I will when I gift it I will put something in there so that's the back simple and the front we love these flowers they are so big and luscious and you know with the satin and um, not my usual style of neutral colors but I love the way it turned out and I hope you do too so thank you for watching and thank you to everybody who leaves such kind comments on my videos and for staying sticking around and still supporting me even though I had a huge gap in my activity on YouTube and I'll see you soon with some more videos thanks for watching bye